happy Wednesday. Today I wanted to talk about where I'm at in my minimalism journey as well as some tips and things that I have discovered along the way. So the first thing that I want to talk about is I went to the minimalism documentary tour. They came to Dallas um, and I went with my mom on Mother's Day. The documentary, like I expected it to be good obviously, but it was incredible. I cannot even put it into words. Like probably one of the best and I think most life-changing documentaries um, that I've ever seen. I listened to the podcast that they recently um, released. I can't think of what it's called right now, but they put it perfectly. They're not in your face about uh, trying, like forcing minimalism. They just give you the facts and help show you what you can do about it whether it be in any form of minimalism and different expressions of how people do minimalism. But the documentary was just super great. I'm going to be pre-ordering it soon because I want to own it and I want Kimber to see it and I just want to show like anyone who wants to watch it with me, hit me up because I, I'm telling you guys I could watch that movie so many times. I even call me nerdy but I even got one of the songs from the soundtrack of the movie because it was just really good like all around it was great and then um, Joshua and Ryan were super sweet there was a Q&A afterwards and then there was a meet and greet for pictures and I will put in my picture here yes I uh, stood in line for a few minutes and met them and talked to them and it was super short but super sweet and I just got to tell them how much like they meant to me and the documentary um, how great it was so yes that definitely has pushed me even more because you get kind of once you've pared down everything you get a little bit in like your groove with minimalism but you can kind of lose inspiration and so that was definitely super inspiring to me the next thing that I want to get into after that little story time is out of the way is some tips and things that I've discovered about minimalism so far. And the first thing that I want to talk about is the catch-all bucket. And I don't know what you want to call this, but basically this bucket right here, it looks giant, but I promise it's not. It's just one of those canvas bucket things. It's in my closet, and I use this bucket for things that... I know I want to get rid of, but either A, I need to deal with them and I don't have time to, B, I need to ask somebody else, a family member or a friend about the item, or C, I know I need to get rid of it, but I'm not sure where or how I'm going to get rid of it, and or I'm not ready to get rid of it, but I need to figure out how to get rid of it. So I know that was a little bit of a lot, but basically this bucket is just a catch-all for things that I don't have time to deal with now, but I've already decided that they're good to go. So this is kind of a minimalism hack and an organization hack. So this bucket sits in the top and every couple of weeks I go through it and I deal with the things that I need to deal with. So for example, here are some things that are in the bucket. I have this CD case from my childhood and all of these CDs need to be ripped into my iTunes before I can actually get rid of the case and all the CDs. So this is sitting in there until I have time to do that. Another example is my old iPhone. I need to figure out when I can sell it and the case and um, deal with that. So that sits in there. I just have some t-shirts that I need to ask my mom about and I also have some flash drives in there that need to be cleared and gotten rid of. Gotten rid of. Is that proper? I don't think that is. But basically this is just a catch-all for your things. If you need to revisit it every couple of weeks, schedule in a time you go in, you can see, oh, I haven't thought about that in so long, or oh, I really need to figure out where this is going, and just helps you streamline the process of letting go. Another tip that I have as far as decluttering and just keeping things in their spot is if it takes less than 60 seconds, do it right now. So hanging up towels that are on the floor, do it now. Um, putting away, I know that when I do my makeup in the morning, the desktop gets kind of covered in things when I'm in a rush and when I come home from wherever I've been, I just take 60 seconds and put things back in their place. Um, whatever it may be, if it takes less than 60 seconds, go ahead and do it and you'll just find that those itty bitty steps throughout your day help keep things 
clean and away and it helps you recognize how much time you're spending cleaning um, and other things that could be in the way of you spending your time more wisely. The third tip that I have realized in minimalism is that with things that I already own, for example, my Bath & Body Works perfumes, instead of getting rid of them, I know I don't want them anymore, I would not repurchase them, whatever, but instead of just chunking them or getting rid of them, I've been on a mission to use them all up. So I had a rule of I could not buy any new perfume until I've used up what is in my stash right now. And same thing with underneath my bathroom sink and with some other makeup items, I have a bin of the things that I know I don't want to keep to use regularly, but that need to be used up so that I can get rid of them and let go of that. Now, some things that are brand new or hardly used, um, I have given to friends or my sister, but that helps me see that I don't need to go buy more things when I have things here to be using up. And I have seen so much success with that. Um, like my perfumes have gone down, my makeup has gone down. Underneath my bathroom sink looks so much more empty and I've gotten so much more use out of the things that I already had. Like I did not allow myself to get any new soap or scrub or lotion until that all was used up and it's been super helpful to watch all of that dwindle down instead of just continue to pile up. My fourth and final tip, and I've talked about this before, is to go on a spending freeze. My goal for the entire summer, which might be a little bit crazy, is to go on a spending freeze. And part of that is because I am going to be super busy and not able to work nearly as much. And another part of that is I don't wanna spend my summer accumulating crap. And I'm going on a lot of trips and my goal is to not buy anything from those trips. Um, I'm going to quite a few places, including South Africa, but um, I'm trying to have set budgets or no budget at all, meaning I will not spend anything on these trips. And that is just helping me accumulate less crap, like I said, and keep my finances in check and my savings in check as I'm not working as much. If you've never gone on a spending freeze, try it for just two weeks, like one paycheck round or whatever it may be. So if you've never done one, take two weeks, write out what you think you'll absolutely need in those two weeks. Gas, insurance, maybe uh, one meal out, two meals out. Write it all out and then freeze all the rest of it. Do not allow yourself to buy anything extra, even if it's just one candy bar, a pair of earrings, Whatever it may be, don't allow yourself to buy any extra and see how it feels to have that extra money at the end of the two weeks and to not have the extra stuff. It's actually really great and a cool challenge for yourself to help you streamline your savings, pay off your debt, whatever it may be. That is money that you aren't spending. Finally, I just want to talk about how minimalism has changed things for me. It's just really been a great experience so far. I'm super passionate about it. You can ask any of the people who have to spend time with me. I can talk minimalism all day long and I love discussing all the different aspects of it. Minimalism really is life-changing. I've seen my possessions go down, but more importantly, control over what is important to me has gone up. And I have, as I've gone back and revisited items and revisited things, and I've just really questioned like, why have I held on to this for so long? Or why is this have such control of a certain emotion inside of me that I can't let it go. And it's been really interesting um, for me personally to see how that's happened and kind of discover where I'm at with my life. And as I'm going off to college, like I said, I don't want to bring all the stuff, but I also don't want to bring um, the emotional and mental clutter that comes with owning so many things. And also it helps me recognize the relationships in my life that I love and want to pour into and the activities in my life that bring me joy and I have so much more uh, time to explore those and explore what I want and where I'm headed and kind of get myself together and I think minimalism is something that I do want to pursue for the rest of my life. I think I'm declaring myself minimalist and I don't really want to go back because there's a lot of freedom on the other side of um, discovering this. There's a quote in the movie and it says uh, something, I'm paraphrasing here, something along the lines of 
this life is yours and you only get one and when you let that really seep into your bones and seep into the existence of who you are and let that you know really resonate and realize you only get one you only get one life you've got to make it yours and you've got to be happy I completely believe that you can find joy not circumstantial not circumstantial happiness but true joy in life um, when you identify your priorities and live life the way that um, makes you happy and is in line with your values that's what minimalism helps me do it really helps me to figure out that this life is mine that i get one shot at it and this is how i want to live it yeah it's super super duper life changing so if you um are new to minimalism or you have any questions feel free to message me tweet me comment down below i'm gonna put some links of things and people that i enjoy and i really hope that you enjoyed um, this video. Thank you so so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below if you have any questions and give it a big thumbs up. I will see you guys on Sunday. Bye!